Sandhya from Delhi International School. Hi, I am Vaishnavi from Delhi International School. This video is about nanotechnology. Hey Sandhya, I need some idea to build a constructive building with the help of new technology. Yes, I have an idea. You can do it with nanotechnology. Sandhya, how can we apply nanotechnology in construction and how is it useful to us? Nanotechnology improves the material's resistance and increasing of its durability will reduce the environmental pollution. Oh, that's a good idea. Can you join with constructive building? Yeah, sure, it's my pleasure. Come on, let, let us discuss, discuss about it. it. Sandhya, here are some photos regarding nanotechnology buildings. These nanotechnology based products can improve the overall competitiveness of the construction. The area of applying nanotechnology in construction mainly focus on lighter and stronger structural composites, low maintenance costing, better properties of cementitious materials, reducing the th thermal transfer rate of fire retardant and insulation, construction related nano sensors. Vaishnavi, do you know about concrete? Yeah. Concrete is one of the most and frequently used building materials. By using nanotechnology in concrete, it can double concrete strength, increase its lifespan, decrease its weight and produce the carbon footprints. Also, the developments of such materials guide buildings constructors to reduce the cement consumption by 50% compared with normal condition. To improve concrete properties, two nanotechnologies are introduced here. Nano silicon self-healing concrete, carbon nanotubes. But Vaishnavi, how to make it? I will explain you. To make concrete, we need water, aggregate, cement, polycarboxylate, neutral salt, glycol ester, etc. Mix dry ingredients, then place in cubes and level it. Then it's ready now. Really, that's nice. Sandhya, do you know more materials and how to make it? Yes, I know how to make paint. Can you explain it? Yes. Nanotechnology is applied to paints in order to assure the corrosion protection under insulation since it is hydrophobic and ripples water from the metal pipe and can also protect the metal from salt water attack. How can we make it, Sandhya? It includes Ferroni dyeing method. The first step of Ferroni dyeing method consists of treatment with ammonium carbonate by means of wood poultice compress. It is shown to be effective in removing selenite and converting it into ammonium sulfate. Let us start our project. Hence, what's the conclusion? By using nanotechnology, it can reduce as mankind's need to rare materials. And also the decreasing the level of pollutants in the process of producing building materials. Thank, Thank you. you.